Time now for our weekly injury update with Dr. Stephen Pomerantz of MRI Online. And Dr. Pomerantz, this is a big one because Patrick Mahomes is one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. And he continues to re-injure that left ankle game after game. First of all, just kind of help us to understand what exactly is the injury and how might it affect his ability to play? Sally, uh, you know, it's an ankle sprain, um, and everybody knows what an ankle sprain uh, is, but there are different kinds of ankle sprains. You could turn your, your foot inside or turn it inward, or you can have the foot forced outward. And in his case, the foot has been forced outward on many of these injuries that I've been watching uh, on video, uh, and it makes me cringe a little bit because it's happened uh, three times. And when that happens, the ligament on the inside really gets stretched out, injured, or, or torn. And even watching the way he's uh, exiting the field, you can tell that he's, that he's darn uncomfortable. So that, that could have a big impact on how he plays. Yeah, just kind of talk about maybe just the overall accuracy. A quarterback, he needs his legs for stability in order to deliver those strikes and those wonderful accurate passes down the field. Might this be an injury that could affect his overall accuracy as the season goes on? There's no question. I mean, I, I am not a – I'm a nerd. I'm a medical nerd. But uh, when, when I look at how this gentleman plays, I mean, he's a mover and a shaker, and uh, his ability to scramble and cut will be hampered for the rest of the season. I mean, with, with 100% surety. Um, or 99% surety. Nothing's 100%. People don't like surety, but it's pretty likely that uh, his ability to move around is diminished considerably. And then when you consider how he throws in the pocket, you know, you rely on that back foot uh, for, for power. So he's probably, probably going to be okay there. The injured foot is heavily taped. But when he's moving, now you get that side to side, inward and outward motion. And that's going to affect not only his accuracy, but his power. I know he's a very creative guy. Yeah, that's great information as it pertains to uh, Patrick Mahomes. We're used to seeing him run one way and throw back across his body or across the middle of the field with great accuracy. And so if that's going to be um, sort of tempered um, in even just by the small percentage, it goes a long way into maybe diminishing what the Kansas City Chiefs can do in terms of their overall passing game. I also have to ask you, um, what are the chances that he could, as the season goes on, maybe get back to being at least close to 100%? Because this is turning out to be a significant injury for this particular player. The chances of him being close to 100%, let's say 99%, are 0%. I mean, this is the kind of injury that's going to persist throughout the season. And just watching how he has handled it walking off the field – the degree of turning of the ankle when he gets hit. Uh, a lot of times injuries like this are babied throughout the season, and then after the season is over, they tighten the ligaments up, and they sometimes have to go in and clean out the joint. But 0% that he's going to be uh, almost at peak for the rest of the season. Wow. Uh, that's really big uh, for Patrick Mahomes. He was playing so well and, and throwing those beautiful spiraled passes uh, down the field, and now this ankle injury has come on over the last three weeks, and we've also seen uh, the numbers come down. Dr. Pomerantz, great work as usual. want to thank you for joining us. That's going to do it um, for our weekly update with Dr. Stephen Pomerantz of MRI Online.